A uh, rough start, you know, I said to keep it simple, um, especially with, you know, they got some skill guys over there, they got some top end players and, you know, we have to be smart, you know, play simple um, against the dangerous players like that. So then we had to crawl back um, and then again, had some glimpses of, of good things, but, you know, we're lacking confidence, I think, um, the lack of practices or, or whatever it is, but, um, you know, guys are gripping the stick really, really tight. We had some... Uh, some great A chances, some, some posts, and then, you know, just not executing. So um, we need to take a deep breath here, regroup, um, and somehow find a way to get some confidence. And then that practice problem still rises its head because you go again on Wednesday, don't you? Right. You know, I guess this proves that, that practice is, uh, is very important, um, but we, we got to find a way. I think um, certain guys are battling um, and, and trying. I think you know, it's just uh, it's just not clicking right now. So, you know, I got to figure it out. We got to figure it out. We got to dig deep. And is it a case of balancing that, that juggling act of trying to boost guys' confidence whilst delivering those home truths at the same time? For sure, it, that's that's part of management. You know, we want to. Um, you know, I think at home with the, with the fans and and the, the pressure, I think you can you can feel it for, for some of the guys. But we, you know, it, it's pro hockey. We we got to try to. Um, be there for each other. I think that's a main thing that, that can help. If you're talking on the ice and being there for each other and, and being on the same page, that'll get us out of this. Yeah, certainly it's been a lot easier, uh, a lot of fun to stand behind these guys and watch them do the thing. Um, we haven't really been focused. I mean, the first time I heard about uh, seven in a row was, was the last game. So we, we've just been focusing on ourselves. and and trying to do what we do every game and to find that consistency and uh, tonight was no different. And is it now a case for you of not letting guys get carried away and keep doing the simple things that are making things click for you at the minute? Yeah, certainly. I think, you know, our strong suit is we want to be the best team defensively in the league. And, um, you know, there's there's areas from tonight and, and areas from the last game that we can get better at. So uh, that's our focus right now. And, uh, you know, right now it's, it's a lot of fun on the bench and we just need to, to stay stay focused on, on the next game, really. And that's it, just one game at a time. And then a word on your fans in the corner over there. Not many of them, but they made a noise all night. Yeah, I mean, they're always great up there in the corner. And this is always a great atmosphere in this building. So it's always nice to have that, that corner in our favor. Uh, overall, I thought um, first period okay, um, second period, uh, <clears throat> fight for just a better team. And you saw that in the scoreline, um, you know, they skated harder than us and they uh, put a lot of pucks to the net and fortunately we didn't block many, so, you know, and um, they were hungrier. So that was the second period and then the third, well, you know, we tried to make a push and um, it was a bit too late. It was a frustrating thing that you took that 2-1 lead and didn't really materialise on it. Well, we got scored on the first shift, so to, to come back after and score 2-1. And, you know, I think what happened too is we took two penalties consecutive, you know, for the second and the third goal. And um, But usually our PK is strong and uh, tonight it wasn't. Um, you know, there was too many pucks easily going to the net, um, you know, and we were either not even blocking or even giving an extra screen to, to Mo or boxing out. So um, it's very frustrating tonight. Um, I think the last two games are um, certainly something we, we built on right before we went into that 10 day quarantine, all the team. And, you know, it's, it's, it's probably gonna take a little bit longer to get back to where we were before. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't really know exactly what to expect after three weeks off uh, of gameplay. Um, I thought we looked quite strong tonight. Um, definitely looked a little tired at times in the first period, although it was quite a strong period. I think we were a touch sloppy with the puck. I think, you know, we gave them three or four quality chances, um, but it was just from our lack of management of the, uh, of the puck, you know. But pretty strong I, I, and I think we kind of let our foot off the gas there towards the end um, but you know that's the first game we played all season with uh, a, a full roster um, you know so it felt great.
Well, I thought our penalty kill did a good job, um, you know, getting up ice, put some pressure, trying to challenge the entries. And, of course, um, you know, Duggan's uh, shorthanded goal is a big moment in the game for us. So, you know, give a lot of credit to our PK. Um, you know, I, I didn't like our start, obviously getting down 2 nothing again. It's something we've been focusing on, we've been talking about. And for whatever reason, we're, um, you know, we're just not, uh, we're dipping our toe in the water here and, uh, you know, not jumping in feet first here at the start of the game. So something we, we, we talk about, something we're going to continue to address. You mentioned there about, I think it's three games recently where, where you have gone behind first four, but as a coach, the resilience of your team to continue coming back game after game, that has to be great. Well, you know, a lot of times it's the players also that, uh, you know, they, these are proud, proud guys. And, you know, they understand that, uh, you know, we, we've gotten down and now they, they've got to collectively get together here, us collectively as a team, and um, get back in the game. And I thought they stuck with it. We've... Uh, you know, it's not something we want to be doing here over the last few games, getting behind. But um, I do like the response here. Uh, you know, once we do, and uh, uh, the guys all stick together, and um, you know, kind of put their work boots on and get going. Uh, I mean, I just felt that I, I, I didn't mind our game. I thought we did some good stuff. Uh, you know, it just seemed like every time we made a mistake, we, you know, Cardiff made us pay. Uh, you know, we, we kind of, apart from that, their first power play goal, we, we pretty much gave them the other four, definitely the other four, all the way down to the empty net on the turnover. Just uh, a frustrating night. I thought we, we played in spurts. We played really well. But, um, you know, against a team like that, you, you got to play for a full 60. You can't... Uh, you can't uh, you can't make these kind of mistakes, giving up breakaways and you know bad turnovers at and in bad spots, and it just that, that's a frustrating thing. It was just a little individual mistakes really cost us today. I thought we had some guys that had a real good night. I uh, really like Brady's line, um, you know, but just uh, a couple of mistakes and uh, didn't get the uh, didn't get the bounce when we needed it. You know, we had some opportunities to tie the game, um, especially when Kruth went out and. And came in, uh, you know, the goalie comes in after sitting all day. I thought, you know, we didn't maybe get enough on him. We had an opportunity there on the on the shorthanded there where it just fell off Brady's stick. But, uh, yeah, frustrating night. Um, did a lot of good stuff, but just not enough to, to walk out of here with points. Yeah, it's it's never an easy night against Fife. To be honest, with you, I think that uh, they defend really hard, and there's when they really make you work to get to the net. And um, you know, you, you carried a lot of the possession, but it is difficult to get to the net. Uh, so you know, it's a credit to our guys that break them down pretty early there to get that three nothing lead. And um, I, I, I take out of that game the third period, the most important one for me. Um, you know, the guys went out and shut them right down. I think outside of that power play at the end there, they didn't have much of a look at all. So um, we take a lot of pride in that third period. Uh, how you, good is it for you as a coach? You, you know, if you want to, to rest Tyler Besco Rowani, you've got a backup uh, like Jackson Whistle put in there because so far this season he's, he's, he's proved absolutely his worth every time you put him in. Absolutely, yeah. He's, uh, Every time he's been called upon, he's been great, and I think that uh, you know strategically we need to look at the schedule and find uh, games that, that make sense and use the entire lineup. And I think that uh, we've been able to do that this year, and we've had to do that this year uh, throughout the entire lineup. So you know it just says a lot about our depth. Yeah. I'm pretty disappointed in our uh, performance tonight. I, I think you're right. I think we had a good good five, six, seven minutes of that first period. I thought, okay, here we go. Um, we're engaged tonight. But listen, I mean, you have to work hard for results in this league, and we just didn't have it tonight. I'm, I'm You know, as I said, I'm pretty disappointed that after the back of a, a strong performance up in Dundee that we'd come out and be a little lackluster. I think everybody in Belfast is very appreciative of Fife 
fulfilling this fixture tonight in, in place of Coventry. But I guess that's the way the league has to operate at the moment. There has to be a lot of goodwill and a lot of uh, willingness to, to step in when, when the needs arise. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think you'll be well aware that, uh, you, you know, we haven't had a home game up in Fife since December 12th. So, you, you know, this is really going to start affecting teams. So, you know, if we can help out, um, although it wasn't the result we wanted, um, you, you know, some things are bigger for the survival of the sport than than just thinking of yourself sometimes. So we were, we were quite happy to come over and, uh, you know, help the Giants out, but we would have hoped for a better performance. Um, tough. It's tough for us right now. Um, you know, we've been in a rut for a little bit of time here, and just things aren't the, the, the bounces. Things aren't going our way. Um, again, the work ethic I thought was very good tonight. It's a shaky first period, but like you say, when you've dropped five on the bounce, there's always a little bit of nervousness, um, and that showed in the first. But you know, it was an okay period. But then in the second, we came out again, and I thought we were we were very good. Um, we got pucks in behind, we were moving our feet, we got pucks to the net. Um, and then the third, I thought we were good again, but you know, it's just the odd bounce here. Um, you know, pucks going into the corner and it's hitting the stick and bouncing right to a guy in front. 
um, but it's just we're not getting the breaks at the minute um, you know but I've always said you can't use that as an excuse you've got to just make sure that we keep on working um, and remain focused and like this this will turn at some point it's not going to stay like this forever but it's hard right now it's really hard but like you say we're uh, we're in that rut and have been for a, a little bit of time here but you know we've got a good group um, you know there's, there's boys in that room that are hurting and you know they don't go out there to lose games or maybe uh, have a couple of bad shifts nobody does that on purpose um, by no means and it's hard because you know they, they want to do well they want to win um, but like I said I've just said to them there we've just got to make sure that we keep coming back every day and you know trying that little bit harder and doing our best we can significantly better than last night let's be honest I think our first uh, few shifts in, in Belfast and uh, a few f shifts in the third period uh, were um, just evidence that we weren't there last night and weren't on top of the things uh, we talked about it had a few meetings beforehand um, and you know it, it's more rather than drawing lines on a board um, you know it's about engagement um, having a sense of urgency and, and then you can see that probably we threw more bodies tonight than we have um, in the last four or five games um, it produced opportunities for us tonight so yes we came under pressure tonight uh, at certain times we uh, we lost a bit of momentum in the second period there um, but it, if you were watching that game we also had some excellent scoring chances which came off the back of guys willing to go in and get pucks, guys throw the body, guys skating hard in their lanes and, 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 and just, you know, creating that for themselves rather than playing on the periphery, which, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, um, as a group here, we tend to do sometimes. Yeah. Didn't like our start. I uh, thought we were a bit sloppy. I think. Uh, now th that being said, obviously Fife came out, um, you know, played hard, forced us to make some bad decisions and some turnovers. And, uh, I thought our second period was much better, and then I think we just we were uncharacteristic mistakes tonight. Uh, but you know, credit to the guys for finding a way to win. I mean, that was uh, obviously a, a weird overtime, um, but we'll take it certainly. Yeah, I think as, as a group, uh, you know, obviously some changes happened this weekend. It was a, it was a tough week, and uh, we just talked about coming together, which can happen after things like that. And yeah, for sure, as a group, we are extremely happy right now. And how important was it to build on that winning Guildford last night? Very important. I mean, if you look at our season so far, that's kind of been a bit of an issue for us. We put together a decent performance, and then the next night not following up. And that was the game plan. All, all, all we can ask for as a group is just to put together three solid periods. And aside from the first, where things got a little hectic near the end, um, if you if you look, we didn't we stray from our game plan, and I thought we carried the majority of the play. You can tell by the shot count, and we created lots of chances. Yeah, it was. Exciting. 
extremely long weekend. Uh, you know, we'd like to forget about Friday. Um, you know, the last two nights uh, it shows that we're capable of competing with teams uh, at the, you know, the upper end of the league. Um, it's a shame for the guys. I, I, I think we just needed to sharpen up on a few things tonight, but uh, we had a strong push in that third period. Um, it felt like it was coming, um, but we just left a little too late. Yeah, that was, uh, we made hard work of that one tonight. Um, but anytime you spot a team two goals, first five minutes of a hockey game, it's going to be a battle um, coming back there. So, uh, you know, start wasn't great. It felt like the two weeks off, you know, didn't come out with great energy there at the at the beginning of the first or the second period. Gave up early goals in both periods there. But like I said, as the game went on, I felt like um, we got better and better and, and settled in. You know, unfortunately, again, we lost a couple bodies today. Uh, Haji this morning wasn't able to go and then we lost Ebbs a couple shifts into that game so again everything we've kind of worked on line combinations throughout the week kind of gets thrown out the window and and you're you're shooting from the hip a little bit there but um, just proud of the way that we, we found a way and and we're able to get those two points.
I, th- I think it was uh, I think it was evident it was a, maybe a tale of two tired teams um, at times. Um, it was always going to be tough coming out of protocol, you know, a little bit of ru- little bit of rust to, to get off. But you know, our first period just a little bit slow. I, I shouldn't say that. First five six minutes were very good. Um, when they got that first one to tie it, we just seemed to change our our attitude. I don't know what happened there, but we started forcing things again and getting sloppy. Kind of the things that have maybe held us back a little bit in the first half of the season. But uh, you know, obviously, second period we got back to being a bit bit more simple, a bit more you know direct and. Um, and obviously scoring six goals in a period, you know, two from Fordsy, two from Bloods. Um, Gibby, we moved up front, he got two. So it's great to see. And then the third, you know, we, we a good mature performance there. Again, a couple of forced plays there when we didn't need to. Um, but we're a young team, we're still working on that. But uh, listen, coming out of pro call and get a big win at home, it's it's, it's good for us. Uh, obviously a tough, tough second period um, for our group here. We just... Uh, yeah, just uh, just a kind of a struggle all night. We just didn't. Uh, we've been playing really well, despite you know not not overly getting results. We've been playing really really good hockey uh, the last while. Um, I'm not going to dive too deep into this one. It was an off night for our guys. We there we, go. we got some stuff going on. We got to get take care of here and uh, that are uh, far more important than than uh, than right this this result. But Cub played good. Um, you know they 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 played came they came at us. They played good. They they converted on their chances. We just. Um, just an off night, really. We've been playing really good. I'm not getting too down on this on this team here. It's just just a bad night at the office.